I've seen Happy New Year because my son was in it. I'm mean, yeah. purely emotional. <laughs> When you talk about a movie like, uh, say, uh, Happy New Year or something like a Kick, or one of these uh, masala movies that could keep coming out, I have not seen Kick. Okay. So basically, what is termed off as typical? I have seen Happy New Year because my son was in it. I mean, right. Purely emotional. Right. I sense a little bit of hypocrisy here because a lot of people who actually tend to uh, kind of laugh them off as bad movies or commercially. Movies. Not at all. It's very entertaining. No, no, I'm not. I'm not uh, saying that you are saying that. No, no, I know, but I'm. I'm saying it for everyone. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I don't agree with your word like hypocrisy. I don't think people sitting here. Are, it's you laugh not because uh, you're being a hypocrite, but it is funny. I mean, they themselves know that when they go to see Amar Akbar Anthony, they're going to see Amar Akbar Anthony. So when you talk about it in that sense, so they that's why they're laughing. They're not laughing at the film. They're just laughing because we're talking about it. I think. Since the topic is the failure of literature to inform current cinema, is it also not a failure of contemporary literature? Because you have your Chetan Bhagats and you I'm, I'm no disrespect to anybody, but uh, so many of his films, the books, uh, yes, but I mean. When uh, actors come to a retiring stage, they all move into it. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm, planning to, I'm planning to do a serial which I will start shooting next year. It is from a Gujarati published work. Commercially successful way, big actors and good stories. You know, I think that if something is done honestly and with purity, it will be successful. But it's what we are looking at is uh, escapism. Jaldi mein, saste mein, kaise zyada paisa banai. So that is something that one has to think about. The younger filmmakers now, they're actually moving to the hinterland. Like, what about this group of people who want young and urban cinema? Like, you know, something made from your novel and not maybe Chetan Bhagat, something which is more cerebral than Chetan Bhagat. What if it does not appeal to me? You know, what about, what about anything is more than cerebral than Chetan Bhagat? I'm sorry to break the news too. No, but why is there I mean, that? that's a bar that's, that's kind of low. But now cinema does not, that kind of cinema which, you know, people associate with, or like, you know, you might be personally associated with, your family might be personally associated with, that, that kind of cinema does not inspire me and I'm going to cinema for inspiration, I'm not going to cinema for, you know, just that, just forgetting something which is happening in my life. I don't want that kind of cinema. Right. I don't want that kind of stimulation from, you know, cinema. You know, I've been wanting to make a part of my father-in-law's life. Hmm. Not the, not everything, but the beginning, I mean, say the first 30, 40 years of his life into cinema because it has got tremendous cinematic uh, quality. Again, we're moving into the past. Why Why not urban? Why not urban youth? Why not? Well, you're seeing everything urban nowadays. Where's the rural uh, India?